The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're making an organic and catchy vocal lead. The track that I got pulled up is the demo for the brand new organic female vocal sample pack available now at wholeoops.com. And we're gonna create a little post chorus for this hook to fill in as our drop. Let's take a listen to the example. And then this section is what I'm trying to fill in. This first section is just one of the wet samples dropped in and chopped up and flipped back and forth. Nothing really going on here as far as processing goes. So let's create a MIDI channel beneath it and I'm gonna go find a similar sample. We're kind of dealing with an ooh and I wanna make it sound like it came from the same vocal as this. So I'm gonna go check out some of these oohs. Now this ooh is perfect because it's got some long notes and also some note changes in it. And for today's tutorial, those note changes are what really are gonna make this effect. So I'm just gonna double click our desired sample and let's go grab the spot right before the note changes. Sounded good right there. Might take the attack up just a little bit so we don't hear it come in. And we're gonna do one voice for this because we're doing a lead and we don't need snap on. Now I'm just gonna lower this down so that when I play C, it plays the note that I want. It just makes it easier to play on my typing keyboard. Let's go up an octave. I like these notes right here. So instead of playing really fast notes we're using the spot right before the transition to create a fast note for us and that's going to give the notes those organic transitions that we're looking for let's record in a little melody yeah so i hit a wrong note right there but the rest of it was pretty good so I'm just going to highlight what I want, hit Command J, and my wrong note was right there. And let's hit Command U. Should be eighth notes. Okay. I'm going to create a little bit more separation here. That's really going to help it feel funky and bouncy. Next thing I'm going to add to this is just a little bit of radius. Maybe a little bit of low cut too. And when I low cut, I like to make up for how quiet it gets with this drive right here. duplicate it and let's pitch it down an octave for this next part. All right, so now we're running into the timing problem because we pitched it down an octave. It's not feeling like the same timing. So we can very easily accommodate for that by just duplicating our MIDI channel and having just the first one on the top and the second one here. And let's go find the spot that it sounds right just by Slide in the beginning. Are you tired of searching through overused, low quality vocal samples? Have you wasted days of your life mixing your embarrassing vocal recordings? Introducing the Organic Vocal Bundle, the complete collection of male and female samples, sauced up and ready to drop in your productions. The Organic Vocal Bundle is available now only at Holoops.com. That's sounding a lot better. Now the next thing I want to do is just a little bit of pitch bending. And inside of Simpler, you don't get to pick 
<clears throat> you don't get to pick how many semitones the pitch bend sends it. So I'm going to convert this simpler to a sampler. It keeps all of our settings the same. However, over here in MIDI, you could switch this to 12 and now your pitch bends will do an octave. And I'm going to do some pitch bending in here to help it sound a little bit different. And let's have the last one go down just so you know, it's kind of like the, the end of the loop. Boom. And we'll have that stay down. And then to avoid any uh, out of tune clips, I'm just going to have a little bit of automation here to reset it. And this is a, uh, major key to avoiding the pitch bend issue where sometimes your computer remembers where it was when you paused it and pitch bends your clip the next time you play it to whatever this amount is. So I always like to put just a tiny little slope in the beginning that you don't even notice just to make sure that it's reset to zero. In fact, I'm going to do the same thing by just copying and pasting this clip and just pitching it up an octave. That way we got our pitch bends in here. I see that one still is the uh, old instrument. So let's also copy this instrument up too. Delete and Command V. And the only other thing that I want to do to help this bounce a little bit better with the beat is group it and then sidechain both of these to the kick and snare. And it's really easy to do that here in Ableton just by saying kick on this first one. And we can actually low cut it so we're just sidechaining it to the top end of the kick. And let's do the same thing with our snare. But let's sidechain the EQ the opposite direction. I might even drop some lead vocal sauce on here because it's feeling a little dry to me. Let's pull the bright back a little bit because it's already pretty bright. I'm really in this for the delays and reverbs and stuff. Well, there you have it. That is my shortcut guide to making awesome, organic, and catchy vocal leads here in Ableton. I hope you found the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.